Lewis, as I said, me and Ace are going to do a walk again, although he's gone camera shy. So we're here in Bournemouth and it's a bit busier than I anticipated because it's still nice weather. Ace! Uh, here we go. It's not an exit. So yeah, I got my skates. Ace has got me and I got Ace. And we're gonna just um, skate down to the beach, to the other pier and back. It's Maxwell on the beach. A bit busier here than I thought. Not dogs and Ace is going a bit dog-like, but we'll get down there and it should be um, less busier. So let's see. It's a bit quiet here. It's crazy back there with the matter of little dogs and handbags. Uh, this is why I need bigger wheels. Just look at the floor. It's not very smooth, but it's a nice scenery. And considering I have a snow dog that pulls, I seem to be pulling him than he's pulling me. So I reckon once we get a bit further up here, I'll say the magic words go a bit faster Let's see what happens but yeah look it's Max on the big tree Nice and quiet around here, not like back in the town centre. It's a nice day. Finished work about four o'clock and now down here to enjoy. So uh let's see how fast we can get the air ace. Should we go? Should we go for it? Let's go! Come on!
rest up a bit. Pace. Quite worried about this bit, it's a lot of sand for my bearings. And then there's cars as well, look. Coming down now. You drive. What, you drive me into the sand? Come on this way. I think what we'll do is, we'll carry on, despite the sand. Always clean my bearings out. And then we'll just see what's up next to it. Although some more little doggies up here. I believe they're huskies as well, actually. Yeah, they are. Oh, look. Look, that's this way. Sorry. He's a guy. Met some more snow dogs, let's see. It's actually really nice here. So I'll go up to the Boscombe Pier from the Bournemouth Pier. I believe halfway now actually so yeah I'm telling you he's not pulling me he isn't pulling me at all I thought snow dogs like to pull sleighs and everything but I'm doing the pulling oh it's him I was thinking oh human you do all the work how dare you make me work I need to slow down a bit here People. That's the only issue is when you see other dogs, definitely other huskies as well, they like to be really friendly and say hello to each other. You have to be wary of other dog owners as well because you may know 100% your dog's nice and safe and friendly but you never know of the other dogs do you. So I'm always cautious how I introduce Ace to any other dogs, especially small dogs or small dogs. I find they're just really yappy and think they're like the boss when really they're just little dogs in the way. So uh, I reckon what I'll do is we'll just speed up a little bit at this part of here and then get some more shots. Again, as I said, there's some small dogs up the road here, so I can imagine they're going to be a bit yappy and try and get Ace to not chase after them. I swear he just thinks every small dog's a squirrel. Watch it, I'll try and get a video clip. Ace, 
way. There we go. <sighs> Actually nearly at the pier. Quicker than I thought. Can't wait to get some free by free friends. And this will just be so much smoother. But yeah, having a blast. comes a lamp train just on time we have a current to Boscom Pier now the GoPro won't get it from here it's a bit far away from the GoPro point of view but for my 2020 vision with glasses See it just fine. What I have found, Royal Bladen, in general around the streets, is uh, people just seem to think you don't know what you're doing. I don't know if any of you who just skate around. It, but they stop literally about two meters in front of you and they're deciding which way should I go and you've already decided you want to go right and they're there going can I go left right panicking and then and then you decide to go right and they're going there right and before you know it you've both crashed into each other and they're blaming you when you've already fought 10 to 10 paces ahead of what you're gonna do and they're just like ah someone on skates anyway bit of nonsense there. Keeps me entertained. Here we are in Boscombe. Oh and another little dog. This way is. trying to do is go up to the pier, see if you can get on the pier, I'm not sure if you have to pay this time of year, skate round the pier to the end of the pier, back down, head back down to Bournemouth and then put my shoes back on. Come on then. I must say we've only had Ace like four weeks now and he is amazing, we're his third home Oh, you're chatty. Come on, boy. <laughs> See, even the locals are a bit chatty. I mean, even the locals are a bit chatty. Uh, yeah, so we ha we've had him four weeks now. And we're his third home, I believe. So we don't really know much of his background. Other than the owners beforehand. Sadly, couldn't keep hold of him because of work commitments, which is understandable, it happens. But I don't understand why anyone would want to get rid of him. He really is a blessing in disguise. He's a... Uh, as far as huskies go, very well behaved. And likes to do his business everywhere. So yeah. No, seriously though, he is very very well behaved. Um, he gets a bit lonely when he's left on his own. So we're working on that with him. And as you see, there's another little dog there. Yeah. So 
but here we are Boscombe Pier from Bournemouth Pier Pier to Pier this way distance where the uh, flat earth drops and people fall off the earth for all you flat earth conspiracy people out there personally I think it's round and it'll be around forever so here we are oh that's a little golf course it's mixed with all the beat we made it ace hey we made it <laughs> we've got to go all the way back now. How do you feel about that? We'll rest for a little bit and then we'll get back, yeah? So now we're going to go from Boscombe and head back to Bournemouth and then get in the car and call it a night. Although, there is some musical instruments down here that we can play. Is this one of them? Let's have a look. sunglasses and the sun is directly in my eyes on the way back. It's all good. So yeah we just had a little pit stop, a little rest, a bit of water and heading back to Bournemouth here now. Which, uh, it's quite fun. So I reckon we'll get a bit of speed up in a minute. Although there's another husband down there. Oh, I got an idea. Shall we show this husky what we're made of? Yes. Come on in. Go, go, go. This way. Come on, Ace. Oh, 
Nice. Yeah, these wheels are useless for the road. I can't wait to get the free by freeze. It's so much better. So much smoother. And like I said in my last video, it'd be nicer for Ace as well. He doesn't have to carry my fat ass everywhere. <laughs> The shame Ace doesn't like water, I reckon we should go for a swim. But he really doesn't like it. He'll have a little nose in there, but that's about it. He's never gone into water. As I said, we've had him four weeks and he's come up to three. So whether he's never been near water or have had a bad experience with water, I don't know. But I reckon we can introduce it into, to him over the year, ready for next summer. Who knows? Might be seeing us swim together instead of skating together next year. Only time will tell. Oh, loads of sand coming up. Try one more time to get the speed up and then we'll be near Bournemouth Pier and uh, we'll give the young fella a rest. Well, they're saying that there's a dog up the road, it's just my worst nightmare. Oh well, let's give it a go. Come on, Ace, let's go. Cross the road. Come on, let's go, go, go! Yeah, so all in all, I've really enjoyed this. If you looked at my last video, you'd see it was an experiment. We were just going to go around the block, got a bit carried away, went to the local skate park, which was fun. And now we're on the seafront, Bournemouth to Boscombe, back to Bournemouth again. I must say, it's the last weekend of September, and it's a really nice weather. Obviously it's not going to last through the winter, nights are getting darker quicker, so we'll see what happens. Obviously we're going to go on walks, but maybe not skating, if it's going to be too dark, it won't be safe for either of us. But, yeah, amazing, absolutely amazing, it really is. Not just the skate, not just the scenery, but again, He's just really outdone himself. He's 
to impress me. He's amazing with other dogs. He gets a bit bouncy, obviously, you know, but he's, he's under control, I would say. If he was off the lead, now I'll tell you a different story. He wouldn't be under control then. But it's because I've got his harness. And uh, but here we go, another dog, see? But I've got his harness so it keeps him. I say I got his harness so it keeps him under control ish. Oh, <laughs> much like that. Come on, Ace. <laughs> Yeah, so we go in the morning and then my other half takes him in the afternoon and I do like a big one in the evening as well. Yeah. So yeah. In yeah. the winter is it too hard? Uh, well, we, got, we live near some local woods so it's all right in okay. the winter. Yeah. Okay. But um, yeah, so huskies are quite, you know, working dogs and need quite a lot of exercise. Well, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> do they behave well at home? Yeah, he's really good. We've yeah. got children as well okay. and he's very good with them. It's just if... Uh, he sees a cat or something and then he's off. Uh, so I give okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Ace was uh, a bit famous there. Everyone wants to see the husky, never the human on the skates. Anyway, we think Ace, do we have this last run? Here we go, let's go. Go. Absolutely fantastic. Sunset and over Bournemouth. Bournemouth to Boscombe, Boscombe to Bournemouth. It's been a pleasure. So I'm going to sign off now because as I'm coming up to Bournemouth, it's a bit busier. And as you may have seen earlier, it's like a hazard. So I'm going to take my shoes out of my bag, put my skates in my bag and caught an evening with him. Until next time, YouTubers, goodbye.